welcome Horatio. Welcome, good Marcellus and Lord Hamlet. Hello, Barnardo. The air by truly is very cold. It is a nipping and eager air. Uh, what? Has this thing appeared again tonight? I have seen nothing. Sit down a while and let us once again assail your ears. They are so fortified against our story. But well, we have two nights seen. Well, sit we down and let Barnardo speak of this. Last night of all, when yon same star, that's westward from the pole, had made its course to loom that part of heaven, where now it burns, Marcellus and myself, the bell then beating one. What hour now? It lacks of twelve. Mm, no, it is struck. Indeed? I heard it not. Then it draws near the season where the spirit held his wont to walk. Look, my lord, it comes! Angles and ministers of grace defend us. Thou comest in such a questionable shape that I'll speak to thee. I'll call thee King, Father, Hamlet, Royal Dane. Oh, answer me. Wherefore, what should we do? It will not speak, then I will follow it. No, you shall not go, my lord. Hold your hands off. Mark me. I will. My hour is almost come when I to sulfurous and tormenting flames must render up myself. Alas, poor ghost. Pity me not, but lend thy serious hearing to what I shall unfold. Speak, I am bound to hear. I am thy father's spirit, doomed for a certain term to walk the night, and for the day confined to fast and fires, till the foul crimes done in my days of nature are burnt and purged away. If thou didst ever thy dear father love, O oh God! Revenge his foul and most unnatural murder. Murder? Murder must foul, strange and unnatural. Haste me to know it, that I may sweep to your revenge. I find thee at. Now Hamlet here, tis given out that sleepy in my orchard a serpent stung me. But no, thou noble youth, the serpent that did sting my father's life, now wears his crown. Oh, my prophetic soul, my uncle. I, that incestuous, that adulterate beast. Oh, Hamlet, what a falling off there was, sleeping within my orchard. Upon my sleeping hour, thy uncle stole with juice of cursed poison in a vial, and in the porches of my ears did pour the leprous discernment. Fare thee well at once, adieu, 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 remember me. Regardless of how strange or odd I may bear myself, as I perchance hereafter shall think meet to put an antic disposition on. Still your fingers on your lips, the time is out of joint. Nay, come, let's go together. Away, I do beseech you both away. I'll board him presently, oh give me leave. How does my good lord Hamlet? Well, God of mercy. Uh, do you know me, my lord? Excellent well. You are a fishmonger. Not I, my lord. Then I would you were so honest a man. Honest, my lord? Hey, sir. To be honest, as this world goes, is to be one man picked out of ten thousand. That's very true, my lord. For if the sun breed maggots in a dead dog, being a good kiss and carry on, conception is a blessing. But as your daughter may conceive, friend, look to it. What say you by that, still harping on my daughter? And yet, yet, he knew me not at first. He said I was a fishmonger. He is far gone. And yet, in my youth, I suffered much extremity for love. Very near this, I'll speak to him again. Will you walk out of the air, my lord? Into my grave? Indeed, that is out of the air. How pregnant sometimes his replies are. I will leave him and suddenly contrive the means of meeting between him and my daughter. My lord, I will take my leave of you. You cannot take from me anything that I will more willingly part with. Set my life, set my life, set my life. These tedious old fools. Have you a daughter? I have. Let her not walk in the sun. Fare you well, my lord. I will not speak with her. She's impertinent, indeed distract. Her moods will need be pitied. 
What would she have? She speaks much of her father, spurns enviously straws, speaks things that in doubt carry but half-truths. Let her come in. Where is the beauteous majesty of Denmark? How now, Ophelia? How should I your true love know from another one? Alas, sweet lady, what imports this song? Say you? Nay, pray you, mark! He is dead and gone, lady, he is dead and gone. Nay, but Ophelia! Pray you, mark! White his shroud as the mountain snow. Alas, look here, my lord. How do you, pretty lady? Well, God do you. Lord, we know who we are, but know not who we may be. God be your table. Conceit upon her father. Pray let's have no words of this, but when they ask you what it means, say you this. Tomorrow is St. Valentine's Day, and all in the morning be time, and I am made, made it your, in your bedroom to be your Valentine. Then up he rose and donned his clothes and dined up the chamber door, and in a maid that out of me never departed more. Pretty Ophelia. Indeed, without an oath, I'll make an end on it. By just and by sin charity, a lack and five for shame, young men will do it. They come to it. My cock, they are to blame. Quoth she, before you tumbled me, you promised me to wed. He answers, I so would I have done. My elder son, thou hast not come to my bed. How long has she been thus? I hope all will be well. We must be patient, but I cannot choose to weep to think that they would lay him in the cold ground. My brother shall hear of this. And so I thank you for your counsel. Come, my coach. Good night, ladies. Good night. Good night, sweet ladies. Follow her close. Give her good watch, I pray you. Oh, this is the poison of deep grief. This all springs from her father's death. Oh, Gertrude, Gertrude, when sorrows come, they come not as single spies, but in battalions. First, her father slain. Next, your son gone. Great Polonius' is death. And we have done but greenly, and hug mugger to deter him. Poor Ophelia, divided from herself and her fair judgment, and all these containing and her brother come in secret from France. <laughs> Alack, what noise is this? Attend, where are my Switzers? What is the matter? Oh, how cheerfully do they cry on the trail, these false Danish dogs, oh, this is counter. Save yourself, my lord. Young Laertes in his righteous head obeys your officers. The rabble call him lord. They cry, choose we, Laertes shall be king. <gasps> Where is the king? O oh, thou vow king, give me my father. Calmly, good Laertes. That drop of blood that calm proclaims thee faster Christ cuckold to my father. What is the cause, Laertes? Let him go, Gertrude, that thy, that thy rebellion Look so giant-like, let him go, Gertrude! Where is my father? Dead. But not by him. How came he dead, I'll not be juggled with. To hell allegiance, vow to the blackest devil. I dare damnation, let what come, comes. Why, now you speak like a good child and a true gentleman, that I am guiltless of your father's death, and mostly sensible in grief for it. It shall as level to your judgment appear as day does to your eye. Oh, he dry up my brains. Oh, Rose of May, dear maid, kind sister, sweet Ophelia. Hey, they bore him bare faced on the bier. Hey, nonny, nonny, hey, nonny. And in his grave may rent many a tear. Hey, nonny. Where's Rosemary? That's for remembrance. Pray you love, remember. There's pansies, that's for thoughts. A document in madness, thoughts and remembrance? Fitted. This roof for you. And, and, and columbines. columbines. I don't have wine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's panel for you, and some for me. We may call it Herbal Grace of Sundays. You must wear your fan with a difference. There's a daisy, I think. And I would give you some violets. 
but they all withered away when my father died. They say he made a good end. Oh, Bonnie, sweet Robin is all my joy. Thoughts and affliction, passion, hell itself. She turns to favor and to prettiness. And will he not come again? And will he not come again? No, no, he is dead. Go to thy deathbed. He will never come again. His beard was as white as snow. Oh, flaxen was his pole. He is gone, he is gone, and cast away we moan. God have mercy on his soul, and all of Christian souls, I pray God. God be with you. La, 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 la. Yeah, but isn't she pregnant? Indeed! Oh. Has this fellow no feeling of his business? He sings in grave making. Custom hath made it in him a uh, property of easiness. But age with of steel and steps have clawed me in his clutch. That still had a tongue in it and could sing once. Could have been the pate of a politician, might it not? Might it, it might, my lord. A pickaxe and a spade, a spade for and a shrouding sheet. Oh, pit a clay is made for such a guest is meet. There's another. Why might not that be the legs of a lawyer? I will speak to him. Whose grave is this, sir? Oh, mine, sir. Oh, Peter, clay is made for such a guest as me. I think it be thine indeed, but thou liest in it. You lie out in it, sir, therefore tis not yours. For my part, I do lie in it, yet is mine. Thou dost lie in it. Tis for the dead, not for the quick. Therefore thou liest. Tis a quick lie, sir. Twill away again from me to you. What man dost thou dig it for? For no man, sir. What woman, then? Uh, for none neither. Who's to be buried in it? One that was a woman so once, but God rest her soul, she's dead. How absolute the knave is. We must speak by the card or equivocation will undo us. Uh, it is a skull that have lying in the dirt for three and twenty years. Whose was it? A horse and mad fellows it was. Whose do you think it was? Nay, I know not. A pestilence on him for a mad rogue. He pulled a flag and a rhenish on my head once. This same skull, sir, was Sir Yorick's skull, the king's jester. This? Ain't that? Let me see. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him. Horatio. He couldn't tell a joke to save his life. A fellow of most infinite jest, most excellent fancy. Where be your gibes now, your gambles, your songs? Quite chapfallen. Prithee, tell me, Horatio. What's that, my lord? Dost thou think Alexander looks so fashioned in the earth? Why may not imagination trace the noble dust until Alexander find it stopping a bunghole? Even so, my lord. T'were to consider it too curiously to consider it so. Come, Hamlet. Come and take this hand from me. Give Hamlet your pardon, sir. Hamlet here proclaimed madness. Was it Hamlet wrong, Laertes? Never Hamlet. Who does it then? Hamlet madness. If it be so, Hamlet is of a faction that is wrong. Hamlet madness is poor Hamlet's enemy. Hamlet have shot Hamlet arrow over the house and hurt Hamlet's brother. I am satisfied in nature, but I have a voice and a precedence of peace to keep my name on God. Till then, I receive your love like love and will not wrong it. I embrace it freely, and will this brother's wager frankly play. Give us the foil. One for me. I'll be your foil, Laertes. In mine ignorance, your skill shall, like a star in the darkest night, stick fiery off indeed. Give them the foils, young Osric. This is too heavy. Let me see another. This likes me well. These foils have all the length. Aye, my lord. Prepare to play. Set me the suits of wine upon that table. If Hamlet give the first, or second hit or quit in answer to third exchange. Let all the battlements their ordinance fire. The king shall drink to Hamlet's better breath, and 
in the cup and union he shall he throw richer than which that of four successive kings of Denmark crown have worn. Give me the cups. Now the king drinks the Hamlet's. Come, begin, and you, judges, bear where we eye. Come on, sir. Come, my lord. One. No. Judgment. A hit, a very palpable hit. Well, again. Stay, give me a drink. Hamlet, this pearl is thine. Here's to thine health. Give him the cup. I'll play this bout first. Come, let's play. Another hit. What say you? A touch, a touch, I do confess. Our son shall win. He is fat and scant of breath. Here, take my napkin. Gertrude, do not drink. I will. I pray you'll pardon me, my lord. It is too late. It is the poisoned cup. Dare not drink yet, madam. By and by. Come, let me wipe thy feet. My lord, I'll hit him now. I do not think it. And yet it is almost against my conscience. Come for the third, Laertes. Say you so. Come on, play. Play. Look, the queen there, ho! They're bleeding on both sides. How is it? How is it, Laertes? Why is it what up to mine own spring, Osric? I'm justly slain with mine own treachery. How does the queen? The drink, the drink. I am poisoned. Ugh. Oh, villainy. Let the doors be locked. Treachery, seek it out. Exchange forgiveness with me, noble Hamlet. Mine and my father's death come not upon thee, nor thine on me. Be point in venom too, then venom to thy work. Oh, yet defend me, my friends. I am hurt. Here, thou incestuous damned Dane, drink off this potion. Follow thy mother. Heaven make thee free. I am dead, Horatio. Never believe it. I am more an antique Roman than a Dane. There is yet some liquor in this cup. As thou art a man, give me the cup. Let go. By heaven, I'll hate, O oh God. Horatio, what a wounded name shall I leave behind me? Thou didst ever hold me in thy heart, absent thee from felicity while in this harsh world draw thy breath in pain to tell my story. Oh, I die, Horatio. The potent poison quite overcrows my spirit. The rest is silence. Oh, 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 oh. Now cries a noble heart. Good night, sweet points. Plighted angels, sing thee to thy rest. <laughs>